I began to develop systemic coaching for church planters. I worked with church planters for over 30 years as a church planner, as a strategist, as a leader, as a coach. And so I got to know church planting pretty much from the inside out. And I recognized that there were a lot of great planters out there who had wonderful skills. They go to a town and almost parachute in, not knowing anyone. And they make contacts and they would begin to attract people and they'd start a service and the thing would grow to about 100, 120 people. And then it would stop. And it wasn't because the church planter was not a good church planter. The reason why it stopped is because the church planner was overwhelmed with all the people that he needed to take care of. And he didn't know how to organize them structurally in order to keep the church growing. That's not true for every church planner. I know a number of church planners that are really good at building systems as they go. But a lot of church planners just say, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to raise up leaders because I've never had to raise up leaders before. I don't know how to put together a financial system uh, to make sure that we're handling our money with integrity. Or I have no idea how to teach people how to disciple because I've never been discipled before. In fact, I didn't even realize that I needed to do this. So I'm trying to gather people into groups or preach sermons on this or having lectures on that. But it seems like I'm doing this all by myself and I don't know how to set up a system on how to get this done. That's why I began to write and coach people in systems because I knew that unless they could build systems and the, the processes by which they got these biblical functions done, they were stuck and they weren't going to go much further than that. And this is why if you look at the, uh, the matrix that we have on our website at www.churchequippers.com, you'll see that we start with vision at the top of this matrix. Uh, because when you come to a community, you need to have a vision from God for that community to even plant a church in that community. Then you build the other systems to help you to accomplish those, uh, that, that vision that God has given you. Um, all of your systems are there to support the vision, to help it to become robust and help you to, to accomplish your strategy in the process. So if you're thinking about church planting and you're saying, well, we need to plant a church, then you also need to learn systems and you also need to begin to think about systems before you open your doors. Because once you start attracting people in, then you've got to already begin to move them forward in the way that you want the church to function systemically. I find that some guys do better than others because they have been in a church that had great systems. Uh, they go there and they see how their church is doing this. How do you do that? How do you do that? How do you get this done? And they absorb that systemic approach, take it with them when they go out to plant a church. It's when guys have never been exposed to systems, when they just go straight into church planting um, and, or never been curious about the, the structure of the church, a healthy church, then that's when they're usually in trouble. If you've never explored church systems, let me encourage you to come to our website and look at what we do through the guidebook and through the primer and training that we offer to help people to discover how to plan a healthy church and build healthy systems that will sustain it.